Hello, this is Alan Fogelquist. This is a short video. It's December 10, 2022. And I'm just going to fill in uh, my um, social media contacts on YouTube and uh, the other social media on what's going on uh, in my life and uh, maybe a few comments about uh, recent events uh, ar around the world. I'm a retired uh, social worker and historian. Even though I'm retired, I spend uh, several hours every day trying to keep up with uh, recent events uh, in the United States and especially in Latin America and uh, also around the world. I follow uh, major uh, news and information media from different countries in the, in the world, major, major newspapers and major uh, television networks, as well as uh, some, some of the uh, presentations that individuals are doing uh, on, on YouTube. I have a special interest in, in world geography. I'm fascinated. Uh, earlier in my life, I traveled a lot more um, to different places. So I haven't traveled a lot uh, re recently. Um, uh, the the uh, COVID-21 uh, uh, epidemic, which still isn't over, um, has uh, caused me to uh, be very careful and so I'm, I'm just not uh, traveling or going out. I don't go to public places. I stay at home as much as, as possible. And I try to find ways uh, to uh, continue following what's happening around the world. And also uh, to keep myself and uh, my wife, uh, late teen, uh, entertained. We spend quite a few um, hours in the evening watching uh, uh, various uh, movies and TV show um, that are streamed uh, f uh, from Amazon and YouTube and uh, Netflix and other um, sources of, of um, movies and, and entertainment. We try to choose things that um, uh, are are better done that are closer to uh, the reality of, uh, of of life uh, they're not full of of sensationalism and and uh, uh, purely uh, voyeuristic uh, pornographic uh, I don't find that entertaining at all and I try to watch something that's it's not going to have gratuitous violence or uh, or straight out uh, pornography. I don't need that in my life, and I don't think anybody does. Having said that, um, today, for example, um, I got up and I I watched um, um, streaming internet uh, news and uh, also. Um, uh, videos from YouTube, uh, and I found a couple of very good uh, um, programs in Spanish about um, what's happening in Latin America. They were done by Deutsche Welle, uh, uh, the German uh, television uh, network, which does excellent news presentation, excellent analysis and commentary, and uh, uh, tries to do a, a comprehensive and, and, more, and uh, complete job of uh, presenting uh, uh, discussion and commentary and analysis of important events around the world that affect uh, people all over the world. Uh, of all of the uh, channels on the internet that does this kind of thing, I, I think uh, Deutsche Welle does a, a better job um, and it doesn't present uh, an ethnocentric or nationalistic, uh, unobjective uh, 
point, point of view. So I really, I really recommend it. watching uh, Deutsche Welle uh, presentations. Uh, uh, they're in many languages. They're in uh, French, Spanish, English, uh, many languages of the world. And uh, I, I think um, present-day Germany is doing a pretty good job of steering a clear course um, in international politics and uh, the world. No country is, 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 is perfect. Um, when I do post things on the internet, um, uh, I post things um, that I think uh, have some or have a considerable element of truth that are based on, based on fact, that are not some tendentious uh, opinion uh, or some self-justification -justif for uh, egregious psychopathic um, predatory uh, criminal um, exploitation or manipulation or even murder of uh, people around the world. Uh, another thing that I do, uh, I've always uh, enjoyed um, many different kinds of music of many genres from uh, classical European um, music um, ranging from uh, the Renaissance through the Baroque and uh, classical and then uh, the, the Romantic uh, periods of uh, um, compl complicated uh, um, music uh, uh, presented by large orchestras and, and uh, professional musicians. And I also especially like uh, music that's, uh, that's well played, that has um, some level of complexity and skill on the part of its musicians, but which has origins, uh, uh, origins in, in folk, uh, folk traditions. For example, I, I, I love different kinds of Latin American traditional music, and I like popular music or music that's sometimes presented uh, commercially, commercially uh, but which uh, has uh, uh, strong autochthonous roots. For example, um, um, Colombian um, dance music, uh, Potoro and Cumbia, but which is closer to the, uh, to the, to the original uh, roots. Of course, music developed tremendously in the course of the uh, 20th and 21st century with the rise of, of the gramophone and musical recording of radio broadcasting and television broadcasting and now uh, transmission uh, uh, through the internet. internet. And uh, the rise of um, the recording industry and the radio and international um, broadcasting and communication has allowed uh, different regions of the world uh, to um, um, broadcast their music and make it available uh, so that it's easily available to any person uh, who has access uh, to a television, a radio, or uh, a computer with a computer or tablet or even a, a cell phone with access uh, to the internet. It's now possible to, uh, to listen to music from any region of the world, from any period of history. And uh, it's, this, this is something that's become increasingly available over the last 30 years and especially over the last 10 years so that the availability of music from different parts of the world today is something that was unheard of even 20 uh, or 30 years ago. And um, the rise of the, of the gramoph gramophone and of uh, recordings in the early 20th century was another major revolution that uh, made uh, 
uh, music uh, much more available and it made it possible uh, uh, to share um, and, and, and broadcast uh, music all over the world. But now it's um, uh, a thousand times um, more uh, po possible to uh, broadcast and share music. So these are the, some of the things that um, I do every day and I, I've decided to make the, uh, today a recording um, explaining uh, some of the things that I'm doing and uh, some of my major interests which I think um, I share uh, with many people around the world. Uh, I, I'm a firm believer that uh, people should seek accurate information about uh, political and economic uh, events and about anything that affects uh, the lives of themselves and people all over the world. And they shouldn't be completely selfish. Each person has a right <coughs> to stand up for legitimate interests of uh, or human rights of living in uh, in dignity and having enough food, um, clothing, and uh, uh, a safe and healthy place to live. These are all needs, human needs, and human rights should be based on human needs. Uh, it's true that um, in market economies, sometimes when the economy is functioning well, uh, People are making a profit by doing things uh, that uh, benefit uh, other people and the, the fruits and benefits of um, what they're doing, the services they're providing or the goods they're producing um, are being distributed in such a way that uh, they're share, shared widely and that the needs of all members of, of society or the world are being better um, um, met and served than, than previously. And I think this ought to be the basis of any political or economic system and, and we shouldn't lose uh, sight or forget that there is a moral and ethical co uh, component uh, to social, political, and economic life. And that if people are pursuing their own interests in a way that also serves the interests of others, uh, then uh, it's, it's, it's not such a bad situation. But if some people are allowed to accumulate wealth and political power and totally ignore uh, the needs um, of, of others, and this is built into the system and the system becomes more acutely um, in, unequal and oppressive, uh, then uh, some kind of uh, uh, movement on the part of individuals and groups uh, organizing themselves uh, uh, is ne necessary. So these are some of the, the themes that I think about every day and uh, I'm very interested in them, in them and uh, um, pursuing these uh, interests uh, gives me uh, uh, entertainment so I don't get bored if I get tired of uh, studying uh, uh, world history or, or uh, economic phenomena, um, I can, I can uh, uh, look at music and I can pay attention to music and listen to it and get enjoyment out of it. And I can also get enjoyment out of um, a friendly and healthy interaction uh, with, with other people, with my, uh, my wife, Latine, and um, with other people who I uh, communicate with by telephone or um, through the social media. It's actually a way that you can stay in touch with people and have um, meaningful, intelligent, and ethical uh, relationships. So that's uh, what I have to say on today, December 10th, 2022, and that's the end of this video.